morning everyone welcome back to my channel um i am having a go at making something i'm pretty sure it was on wendy's general adventure it may not have been but i'm, I'm sure it was um and we're starting with some envelopes so i've got um a dip a dip <coughs> oh excuse me a dl size envelope and then this is just a small brown uh like a money envelope i don't know what they're called do different sizes oh i've got something on tickling my throat and i've cut this in half across the middle and this one in half across the middle as well so that we have well when i say across the middle i guessed so um yeah that's not very uh not very central is it nor very straight by the looks of it but it doesn't really matter i didn't measure it as you can tell so my plan is to cover this this is going to not be covered this will be the back of the envelope and that will stick into a journal and then we'll have a little uh, tuck pocket thing here and we'll have another one on the outside here i'm just wondering if that is just a little bit too small no i'm going to stick with it so the first thing i will do is glue that down in fact what i might do is pop some glue on it because these are really old envelopes and i'm not sure how well that glue will stick i might as well do both and they're going to be different sizes so that is okay just realized i've printed out some ephemera to go in oops uh, to go in these but I haven't printed out enough I forgot I was going to do two of them right so we've got those and this one's this is very 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 slightly larger I'm going to put some glue on this envelope flap here and yeah I hope that will be okay I'm going to stick that I'm going to put that down the bottom here and just line them up so it lines up at the bottom and then we've got a little flippy flappy bit there same goes for this one um, except it will go the other side obviously because the opening is on that side so we'll just put them up I'm just lining it up at the bottom and gluing that like that okay right next job we need some papers to cover these so i've got some things that i have printed out uh come here come here these things here i thought we could use um i don't want them to be too busy let's have a think um Well, let's let's do one and then see what we we think whether or not we want to do the same again right so this has got i'm gonna to have to trim off the edge of that because it has where it doesn't print um it has a little white bit which i don't want to use let's remove that and we'll do something similar down this side try and keep it straight Right, we'll have that one. Should I have this one on here? Do we get the word mushroom? We do. Yep, right. So I'm going to cover this with some glue. And uh, do I want to flip it? over the top or not no i think i won't i think i'll just go gonna butt it right up to the top and to the side probably put a bit of ink on it so it's not essential if we don't quite make it i wonder if i've got my little card yes i have Mm. 
Right, I'm going to have to cut around here carefully so that I don't um, snip into the envelope, otherwise it won't hold anything. Like that, the same at the bottom. Right, so we've got one piece. Now we've got, this bit isn't quite, um, what's the word, it's where the envelope is. It depends on what type of envelope you're using as well. But I think I'm just going to cover that with something, perhaps I could do with something a bit um, more substantial than a piece of paper. What have we got here? Some pieces of card. Maybe I could put some card on here just as, to give it a better back. Yeah, I might do that. So let's put some glue on this flap. And I'm only gluing this bit, obviously, otherwise it won't open and shut. But I'm just going to line it up. Let's double check what it looks like. There, that should be fine. That'll just give us a bit more of a substantial um, pocket there. Although that won't be joined onto anything either, will it? I could pop a little bit of glue down there. We'll work that out in a minute. We're, we're working on our feet today. Let's just cut around here. And again, it, I'm not going to worry too much. I don't want to go too close to these envelopes because these are very thin and I'm likely to just snip them. All right, so now we need to cover that. Right, just fiddling around trying to get the right paper. And again, this is just one of my generic background papers. I just want to line that up so that we can't see the envelope there. And I want to fold that over really, I think, and cover, cover it like that if it will let me. Seems like it will. Um, I'm just going to go for it and then cut it afterwards. Do fine like that. Right, it's gonna be a bit dangerous, I think. She says. Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll give it a little fold, I think. But now I'm actually cutting on the wrong side. Probably was a much easier way of doing this. Never mind. Right. Move that out of the way. So we have a little pocket here in there and we have we could use it as a tuck spot as well because it's not um, sealed down that end there so it could be a tuck spot type thing next job I want to cut out a circle in this pocket here so I'm going inside 
with this is a one and a half inch punch I don't want it to line up I'd rather like it went over to the left a bit but there's a limit to how much you can uh, move things around so I'm going to cut it out there I think give myself a little window right now I think before I do anything else I will have a little ink around if indeed I can find the ink there we go in a bit of a mess as usual just going to go around the edge here I might go around the um, circle in a minute we'll see doesn't matter about the back of this one because this is going to be stuck on a journal page um, I suppose we could ink around the back of this one it doesn't really matter but for completion we will and then this is the front side That looks a bit better. Right, let's have a go at inking around here. I'm not very good at doing this, so bear with me. Probably could do with a smaller sponge. That will do. Now, somewhere. I had printed out when I say I'd had printed out I had a go at printing on tracing paper and you will see it was not successful not highly successful anyway but in fact that one is a better one let us cut this out I want it to be like that I think around about there I'm not going to be fussy about that bit I'm just going to smooth some of these bits out of the way I am in a mess I'm always in a mess so I did have a go I have printed on tracing paper with great success so I'm not sure or maybe I use vellum and not tracing paper that could also be it but my idea was to stick this in here if it will go I might need to like that so that we have a, a window with a mushroom on it let us see if we can stick it and I will practice um, either tracing paper or vellum I just um, I've done it before because I've got I've got copies of the things that I've done and they've, they've worked out brilliantly but this did not work and it did mank the printer up for a bit I've had to clean it do a self clean and things on it um, I think that will do that won't impede us too much no right let me find my tags and things right these ones I've just printed out um, these are for two ATCs that I've made but obviously that one's smaller than an ATC and that one I've blown up bigger than an ATC and these were some of the tags that I made yesterday but I'm just going to cut them out with scissors yes I could use um, I could use my trimmer, but to be honest, my trimmer I don't think it's the blade because if you change the blade, it still does this. But it, I think it's this paper. It has it goes really um, fluffy on the outside, and you can sand it back a bit if you want to. But I'm not going to worry. This is a journal, and it does not need to be perfect at all. And I'm going to ink around the edges so. That makes things a little bit more forgiving. Cut 
could have cut these out before to save you suffering my fussy cutting as you know i hate it don't mind this it's not really fussy cutting is it this is just straight line cutting i can cope with that just about Bear with me folks, I'm nearly there. Let's do that straight edge first. And then Right, that's those done. Let me clear out some of this. I'll keep a little bit of that because you never know when you need a little scrap of card. Right, I'm going to ink up and then I'll decide whether or not we need to add anything to these things or not. I could have done them double sided but I have not. Or you could have done sort of like a lined paper on the back or just a tea stain. Um, and I can always put a bit of um, antique linen on the back. That would um, make it look a bit less like it's just come out of a printer. which I might do actually. Let's just pop that out of the way for a minute. A little bit of antique linen distress oxide and it just elevates it from printer to Maybe not from a printer. And if you wanted to, you could still journal over these. frayed burlap and I'll just go around the outside of those and there it doesn't look quite so stark now I mean I could have done a better job if I had not been rushing will do I'm not going to think about that too much let's see what we've got here then so my plan was we could put one of those in there I could do it so we could see so I could do perhaps a tab on the top of that maybe we could have a big tag as well that could do with something on it and then in this little pocket we've got a small tag there and maybe, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Right, let me see what I can do with these. Um, I'll grab some bits and pieces. They could perhaps do with an eyelet. And not sure about that one. That might just stay as it is. And this one might have a little tab top. Bear, with my, bear, bear with me. Okay, so we have some supplies. Um, let's do the tags first. Uh, let me see. Let's go for the big hole, I think, on both of them. That one. And that one. 
Right, this one may need... I'm not very good at doing this on camera. I'm not very good at doing it anyway, at all. Because I'm not good at lining this up. Oh, except it went on, okay. Ah, oh, I've put the wrong one on there. <laughs> oh dear. Right, well it's gone on fine. That was supposed to be the small one. And this one was supposed to be the big one. Never mind. Perhaps we'll have a change of plan. I'm not sure if I should really probably change the end over. I will. Hang on, bear with me. very fiddly. I do prefer the look of them with these little washers on or whatever they are but it is so hard to get them into the cropper dial. There we go. Right so I was going to put some seam binding on this one but I'm not sure it will go through though it perhaps will but perhaps I'll stick it on the small one instead. So there's a bit of um, dyed, I think it came, is it splattered inky? Splat yeah, dyed seam binding I think it is. Right, that could go in there. Something like that. Right, what should we put on the top of this one then? Might have to be a bit of the old jute for now because that is what's in front of me or bear with me because I can perhaps get some more seam binding yes look let's have a bit of that let's try that it's a nice colour isn't it it goes quite well now the only problem with this is I put the small um Eyel it in, go on through please. Yes. There we go. Oh, I like that. I love the colour of that. Got slightly too much, but I'm not going to worry about that. Might leave it on. Right, that can go there. And then this one, what I found in my stash was um, I cut out a load of these. I've got a die that cuts the tabs to go on file folders and journal pages and things like that. And this is one that's already been pre-cut, so I'm just going to use that and pop it on the top. I'm just deciding which way. I think it goes better that way with the sort of lacy bit. So we will use that. I think I've even inked around the edges. I must, I must do some more. I, I did loads at one point and then kept them. And I've recently found them. So, um, oops. I thought that could go on here. Don't really want to obscure the mushroom too much, but that will do, I think. And then that can go in there like that and then that would stick on the back into your journal page and you've got a little flip there you could decorate it might put some words on here or something got a little envelope a uh, little hole there a little window and two tags and things to go in there so that is that one I might put something on there I haven't decided yet um, and I've still got this one yet to decorate, so I think I'll crack on and do that and show you it at the end. Right, this is the one that we made together. Um, I've just added a little bit of, um, I don't know what that is called, some kind of cottony material um, with a word on it. That's all I've done extra to that one. And then the other one I have made um with this and that's got a bit of the fabric and the word mushroom that i cut out of my master board 
um, in the back it's got a tag and I literally just used what was on my desk I didn't go and print anything else out and I'd got this masterboard cut out in card so I used that along with that so those two are identical I did round the corners a little bit at the bottom of that one because it's quite a snug fit in there but it does aid it going in and then this bit here is just one tag it's got a window I don't know if you can see that and it's just the top if you remember when I did my Twinchy album I had to take loads of pages out of the books and these are the pages so I just used the top of um, of one of these and I folded it in half to give it a bit of strength and to keep the um, printed tracing paper inside um, and then I've just tied a little bit of seam binding to the the top there and a little bit of stamping that is all and that went into that pocket there the only thing I did slightly different with these is that with the papers when I covered the pockets and things I just brought them around the edges a little bit just to give it a bit that's that didn't have that um, I don't think it really matters to be honest but it just gave it a slightly neater look I thought go and with this one I went along the bottom as well anyway there's two of those for the journal should I desire to pop them in um, I've forgotten what I called them now flip flip journal some things cards tags call it what you like um, anyway I hope you enjoyed that and I'll be back again when I thought of something else to pop in there. Um, have a lovely weekend, stay safe and well and uh, I'll be back soon. Bye for now.